a few moments later. Nigel, um, look, hurling unsubstantiated claims of racism on national TV at your royal in-laws and then getting your critics canceled? Is this not the ultimate privilege? Oh, yes, it certainly is. And, uh, you know, Meghan married into the royal family. Um, I think it was clear from day one what her intentions were. You see, it was very interesting. At that wedding three years ago, which Fox News covered, covered so well, Oprah Winfrey was a guest at the wedding, despite the fact Meghan Markle had only met her once before. So I think their intentions were clear. To accuse the royal family, to accuse the Queen, effectively, who next year will have reigned for 70, 70 years, but not just over the UK. She's the head of the Commonwealth. Over 50 countries, 2.3 billion people, the vast majority of whom are Asian or black. Our royal family has done a huge amount. You mad? I mean, it's a huge amount to people of colour all over the world. That was unsubstantiated. Much else of what she said was simply untrue. Her grandson, they wouldn't give poor little Archie a princedom, but a great-grandchild of the monarch does not get... Nothing new, nothing changed, same... ...does not get one of those titles. It was a false claim. Prince Harry said, my father cut me off financially, but only when... They'd left the UK, given up their royal duties, and gone to the West Coast. To the whole <laughs> coast. To the whole thing. The whole thing was a fabrication. It was from Meghan Markle an acting performance to emote, to plead with people that she had victim status, and also, of course, to say that she suffered badly from mental health today. So wait a minute. Mental health problems and had thought perhaps about taking her own life. All I can say is that young woman the other night didn't appear to me to have any mental health problems, but it is shocking that if you attack somebody who claims they've got a mental... Just cool into... ...claims they've got a mental health problem, you're suddenly the villain. And I don't want to underplay the importance of mental health, but people using it as an excuse to well, make sure the bottom they line, Yeah, the bottom line, Nigel, I mean to cut you, but that, you can't claim... Racism. Damn it! Oh my! Um, generally, not name anybody, and then just kind of go like this and say, "Thanks, Oprah, for the interview." You just can't. You cannot do that. But well, she did it, and she got away with it because she's in yeah. the elite club. They they cover for each other. Gay. Other. They protect one another, and then they they sign lucrative deals, and then we're supposed to you know cry all the way to the bank for them. Uh, it's just ridiculous, and, and it's just it's demeaning to true discrimination and hardship of all these people suffering around you what, no. suffering around the world and here in the United States I, I just it, it doesn't it doesn't sit well I think with a lot of folks who want to want them to have great lives and be happy it doesn't sit well with folks I don't think but you're not going to be surprised Nigel that Hillary Clinton weighed in on the big Markle Jane, same old she weighed in on the big Markle drama the British tabloids mm. their cruelty in going after Megan uh, was just outrageous. This is- Bro, what are you talking about, man? Are you serious? One, uh, and she wanted to live her life. It was heartbreaking uh, to see the two of them sitting there having to describe um, how difficult it was to be accepted. Well, that treats you. Should we expect to see you sitting down with Oprah sometime soon? You'll be given the same treatment, right? How did oh, you feel, so. Nigel, when they attacked you? How did you feel when they called you? Oh, I've been called all the names under the sun. Come on now, doll. I've been called all the names under the sun. But then, you know, I challenged the establishment. Meghan arrived in the UK, had a fairy tale wedding. The country took her to her heart. The press were gushing with praise about her. I'll tell you when the criticism... Damn it! Oh, my. ...about her. I'll tell Knocked into a dog bowl. It would have been drowned in a butt of Marnsey <laughs> wine. <laughs> butt of Marnsey <laughs> wine. Which is a, but, but again, if you look at the House of York, it's exactly the same thing. It's a dispute between brothers. Yeah. And again, what's come out of all of this is a sort of simmering teenage resentment. What? Resentment.
we've suddenly got those fights on the back seat of the royal limousine mm. transformed played in front of us reenacted with added bitterness and i do think actually i'm sorry i do think megan when i'm sorry i do think megan when people convert i've described this as a process of conversion there is somebody who converts there is no doubt it's she she has acted as his priestess what his priestess into this new absurd californian religion yeah. but what i think we should all be doing we should be seeing what the risk of the americanization i'm mean, sorry i know you you know a bit of a trumpy wait a minute but the terrible risk of the Americanization of British public life and thought. You're sucked into this. It's a veil of despond. It proclaims it makes it proclaims it makes you well it makes yes. you sick and feelings sick and feelings sick. matter more than facts and feelings, all of these the, my yeah. truth yeah. matters yeah, more yeah, than yeah, the yeah, truth yeah. No, I get that. it's utter self-destruction so the question is what should should be done if anything we know that the the palace have thus far maintained their own dignified silence and cameron walker speculating maybe they should answer the trouble is if they answer 15 charges 30 more will be laid at the what? charges 30 more will be laid at their door and they're all so trivial yeah. the point is you get yourself into a dispute there's a, there's a good principle of law de, de minimis yeah. don't yeah. don't dispute about nothing yeah. these are nothings i think the silence is today so wait a minute the silence is correct for the very simple reason nobody is destroying harry more effectively than harry that every is true every time he gives an interview he now of course he contradicts himself because the religious conversion isn't quite right now we don't care the religious conversion isn't quite complete mm. and every so often <laughs> the honest old harry pops up and says but actually me grandma were a terrible racist i rather like susan hussey i'm so sick of this and so the religious conversion isn't complete. There's still the perfectly decent, not very bright boy, mm. bit physical, who used to be sorted out by the army, and suddenly, do you know what? Well, he's married his mother. Well, he's married his mother. Yeah, and, he, and, <laughs> and he's lost the army as well and because that was because that was his second family, and they I think they're disgusted, and we have got some distinguished. Um, army personnel coming on later on in this hour. David, he's fifth in line to the throne. Come on, man. He has trashed the country, the monarchy, the Commonwealth, his grandmother's great lasting achievement. Is it time for that position to be removed? Should he be sacked? No, because it would give him more, atten <coughs> more attention than he deserves. He will naturally just fade away. This is old soldiers, you know, never used to die. They just mm. fade away. Mm. Harry is as much an old soldier. He is perpetually declining in the order of... <laughs> declining in the order of succession. Why give them the satisfaction of the attention? Why? Do you know, the only way, again, can I just explain, the only way you can actually remove the title of Duke of Sussex is by an act of power. By an act of part. Yes. Do we really want to go through that? This is, you know, it is the proverbial sledgehammer mm. for a walnut, for this tiny little gin... <laughs> Tiny little gin, you know, ginger nuts, I'm afraid. I know this is a family show. Uh, but, I mean, wouldn't we all actually like to crack the ginger nuts? <laughs> with the the trouble is... <laughs> the the trouble is, the sledgehammer might miss the nut. Uh, well, he wouldn't, if I were direct. <laughs> <laughs> but, well... But, <laughs> but but no, I don't think it's worth it. I think it would okay. make a lot of us feel boom, mm -hmm. bam, oh, bam. Make a lot of us feel better, but it would be foolish. I think that for once, the palace is doing absolutely the right thing. It's letting him stew in his own juice. Well, and that juice will get bitterer. Thank it you. will get hotter and more. How? <laughs> <laughs> Got <he. laughs>